The Chinese Minister for Industry and Information Technology, Miao Wei, wants up the pressing need for transformation of the manufacturing industry. We are experiencing a new round of global technological revolution and industrial transformation. The importance of intensive breakthroughs in emerging technology groups and cross-border integration of industries are increasingly evident. Manufacturing models and business operations are also undergoing major changes. The digitalization, networking and intelligence of the manufacturing industry is the new trend. Intelligent manufacturing is our new direction. He outlined several key aspects to advance China's industrial upgrade. Firstly, enhancing innovation capacity. For Chinese manufacturing, the key to achieving high-quality development lies on whether we can complete the fundamental transformation of innovation-driven development or not. In this regard, we still have a long way to go. So we should further deepen reforms in science and technology as well as deploy the innovation chain around the industrial chain. That will improve the ability of technological innovation to support the development of industry. He also called for speeding up industrial restructuring, converging manufacturing and modern service industry, and creating a favorable environment. Professor Pisarais, a Nobel laureate in economics, also shared his view. Government needs to protect intellectual property rights and encourage R&D into frontier technology. The best kind of R&D requires collaboration between government, universities, and business, with more emphasis on SMEs and companies that we might call disruptors to develop and penetrate the market. It's encouraging, again, to hear the remarks of Minister Miao way earlier on today, and also yesterday there were many remarks made about the government encouraging R&D, and uh, especially encouraging collaboration between uh, business and universities. Participants at the CDF also warned of challenges brought by technology innovation, such as stabilizing job markets and relocating low-skilled workers. And they agreed that more global cooperation are needed to address these common challenges. Guan Xing, CGTN, Beijing.